Hello guys, welcome back. Without wasting time, let's get started. So now click on this icon and click on shapes and um, import the circle shape. Okay. Now use the dots at the, at the size to increase and then use the um, relative position to align to the center. Okay, now click on shapes again and then click on circle. But this time, reduce the opacity to zero and increase the stroke width to six. And then click on copy to duplicate this, um, the stroke. Now click on edit and reduce the, the width size to be smaller than the, um, the other one. And then use the relative position to put it at the center of the design. So you can reduce it to fix um, the image. And the next thing to do now is to write in your test. So click on the A icon and click on test and edit to write your test. So now um add to color to change your color. So head to color and um, click on the black color. Now go to um, font A, B and then choose this font, this font or any other fonts. Now use the curve, um, the curve to, to curve the stuff and use the relative size to reduce the size. So click on curve and then the tests and place it to match the circle so you can use the position to to and the bend tool to make it match the, the circle stroke and after doing that you use the relative um, position to, to put it at center by clicking just the vertical or the horizontal one the next thing to do is to click on shape again and then use the circle shape. Reduce it to be in the middle of the text. And then use the dot at the center to make it uh, co just cover the text. And a little space at the edges. Now head to layers and long press and draw it down in between the circle width and the text. And then put it at the center. Now the next thing to do now is to duplicate this and write um, the other name. So after writing the other test, head to the curve and then rotate it to the negative side to get a negative um, bent. Then place it at the center below. So click on the relative position or the position switch to align it at the center. So the next thing to do is to um, use that um, same circle. So you just have to duplicate or copy it and then move it to where the other test is and then reduce the sizes to fit click on edit and reduce the sizes to fit the test and then with a little space at the size now position it at the center and then use the layer icon to move it behind the test so the next thing to do is use, use the shape icon to make the inner circle so click on shape now and then the circle then reduce the opacity level to zero and then increase the stroke width to six or so. And then reduce it to the inside the circle. So use the relative position to um, align the vertical and the horizontal centers. So now you type in your 
uh, your other test, which is uh, YouTube and um, channel. So type on YouTube first. Type in YouTube first and um, change the color to black and then the font also. So for the channel, we'll be making the another font. So I'll be using this um, font. So increase the size of the font to be bold, bolder than the initial one. And then use the paddling to show the full Y, um, the, the Y later. So use the paddling and then position it at the center by using the later position. Now you use um, the two position two to raise it up a bit. And then from here you can duplicate this and edit for the channel text. So write channel. Or any other thing you want to write. And then change the font also to another bold font. And then use relative um use the size to reduce it to be to a smaller size that can fit the inner circle. And then after that, you use the uh, relative position to place that the center, the horizontal center, and vertical center. Now use um, relative position with the same size to reduce, and then reduce it a bit, and reduce it also. Position at by 6px, reduce, and then head to YouTube and use that same 6px to increase it, so you can get um, an equal centers. So alignment and um, everything matters in design. So guys, subscribe to my channel if you're new. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe so you can get updates on new videos. So now click on shapes and um, so increase the the square shape using the dot at the centers as usual to cover up the whole design layers or the camera. And then change the color to black. Sorry. So um, click on layer and choose that same square shape and then click to the back icon to move it to that. From, from here you can then match all the design layers together. So after merging it, um, head to erase that color and erase the white and then the tolerance to 70. Then duplicate it by copying and then merge it together. So after this, um, head to texture icon and um, use this as your texture. So from here, choose the one ratio one size and then click on the tick icon. So, um, and that's it. And the next thing to do now is to head to um, shadow and activate your shadow, enable your shadow. And now um, head to embolds and filter your embolds levels. So um, use the now use the shadow to reduce the blur radius and increase and reduce the offset x and y axis with this and numbers. So from here, um, lock this and then import the texture. So import the um, the brown layer. So use the one ratio one also. Now increase this to cover up the open spaces. And now move it to the back by clicking to the back icon. So from here you can save your design. So guys, subscribe and see you next time in my next video. Thank you. Thank <laughs> you.